Hey everybody, it's Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. I have emptied Josh's inventory of all non-essential items and bags of Dragonite. You will understand later. Now let's get the final melody. One note, that's it? What is this, name that tune? Huh. And now we have the complete melody. I'm guessing that's supposed to be the main theme of the game. If you've been paying attention to the messages given when you visit each sanctuary, then all of this should make sense. So this is what they meant at the 8th Sanctuary. Ah, uh, newborn Josh. Isn't all this ringing a bell now? This. Oh, whoa. Where are we? Where are we? Just like the Talking Rock said, once you visit all eight power spots, you will reach your world, Magicant. There's a couple things I want to do here before I go to the uh, uh, the destination in Magicant, the Sea of Eden. The first thing I want to do, obviously, is save because I, I'm not fighting that hard-ass boss fight again. I want to make some other preparations as well. This shop just sells the Earth Pendant, which gives you half protection against all elements and 16 defense, but more importantly it sells the Magic Pudding. That restores 40 PP, and it can only be purchased here. So what I want to do is fill up as basically just fill up this Cargo Express with just the rest of my spaces being Magic Pudding. I'm out of inventory space. Okay. Another thing I want to do uh, with this Cargo Express, and you can just talk to your sister here, or the image of your sister, rather, and get any items that you may have put in storage. So what I'm going to do is actually fill up my fill up my storage with magic pudding, 
and then get all the bags of Dragonite that I have acquired up until this point in my inventory. This is what I had been saving the bags of Dragonite for. There are five of them in the game, and there's a certain boss fight coming up that the only way I can think to beat him in a streaker challenge is to blow all of them on him. You only need four, but there are five. So I'm going to take care of that off screen. And we're back. I just wanted to fill my inventory up with as much magic pudding as possible. One thing you can also consider is bringing the magic truffles here. I'm going to try to do it without them, but if I fail once, then I'll just go get magic truffles. You can recruit flying men up here, but they're really kind of useless. Beyond this point is the Red Tunnel, which is the evil part of Ness's brain. If you go to the right, you can pick up uh, the final bag of Dragonite, but I don't need it. In this first part, you'll want to go as slow as possible to try to avoid encounters, because all of the enemies here are very powerful, especially considering that you're alone. If you headed north from that intersection to get that present up in the uh, upper left corner, there is a goddess band. You, you really want to avoid the gift box enemies here, because all of them are loaded dice. And the loaded dice do nothing but call for help. Oh, crap. Which loaded die is it? There's two con- Oh, no, it's the kind that summons bad enemies. Like, really bad enemies. Shit! Panic! No! The Carefree Bomb has 504 HP and will throw bombs at you constantly. Bombs and Super Bombs. Okay, this I can handle. that. And of course it misses too. <sighs> I hate loaded dice. through so many resources already. At least the gift boxes are easily dodgeable. Here's another new enemy, the Electro Swoosh. They have physical charging attacks and they have lightning attacks. The lightning attacks are inconsequential so long as you're packing the Franklin badge. I would recommend just meleeing these guys. One of the few enemies here I would recommend meleeing. Physical attacks, while not used very often, will wreck you pretty hard.
In this present is the Magicant Bat. And I believe down here is the final present in the line. Please, no carefree bomb. Okay, cool, it's a Mr. Molecule. These enemies are very weak. They cast uh, entry-level PSI, but they start out being unable to concentrate. They only have 280 HP. They can be threatening in large groups, but generally they're not. a lot of enemies that I don't care to... Fuck. No! And here's another new enemy, the French Kiss of Death. The French Kiss of Death does nothing but try to poison you. That's literally all it does. So generally what you can do is just let them, you know, let them try to poison you after you're poisoned and they literally can't do anything. They have... I don't think they have a lot of HP. Oh, wow, they have more HP than I think any other enemy here. They have 588. That was not a very good magic pudding, either. The carefree bombs are also fast, so they're difficult to run away from. <sighs> Almost there. That little fine thing there is our target. Whew. Oh, magic butterfly. Gimme, gimme. Thankfully, I got that preemptive strike on that carefree bomber. I probably would have been in dire straits. And we've made it to the Sea of Eden. <sighs> 